intellectual property rights or ipr are the rights given to a person over the creation of their minds like artworks designs movies etc they usually give the creator or the person who produced that particular item an exclusive right for the use of that creation and that is provided for a certain period of time so this is what is intellectual property right there are so many intellectual property rights and one is copyright this is mainly given for literary and artistic works such as books music painting sculpture films computer programs databases advertisements etc you might have seen a small c within a circle shown at the end of films or some kind of musics or videos okay so that is indicating the copyright of that particular movie or video okay so this will be valid for a period of 50 years after the death of the author or the producer okay the person who produced that particular literary or artistic works so that is copyright and the next one is patent this is an invention okay this is patent is given mainly for an invention and which will give the right to decide how the invention can be used by others okay so during the corona time there was a lot of issue regarding the intellectual property right this was because due to the increased demand for medicines as well as vaccines there were so many companies which was developing vaccines but was not ready to share or not ready to share the secret or the formula of medicine making or vaccine make, making to other companies these companies was having the patent for that particular vaccine if that companies was ready to share the method of vaccine production to other companies it was easy for a large scale production and thus the whole will whole world will be able to get vaccine for its use but that was not done during that time so the whole world was demanding for liberal patent rules so that it will be easy for wiping out the pandemic from the world okay and from that time there was a lot of discussions going on regarding the patent rules as well as the intellectual property right okay so that is regarding the patent next is trademark the trademark distinguishes the goods or services of one enterprises from those of other enterprises and these trademarks are assigned exclusively to a company others may not be able to use or copied okay you might have seen an iphone app phone will be having an icon of apple on that phone so we can say that that is a kind of trademark of that iphone company okay the next is industrial design this is actually the ornamental or aesthetic aspect of an article like shapes patterns lines or colors okay we have so many beverages in india and each beverages are coming in bottles and if and these are having different shapes okay so each companies are having different shape of bottles and these bottles are specific for them so these kind of shapes are coming under industrial designs okay not only shapes it also includes patterns lines and colors also okay so that is regarding the industrial design and next one is geographical indications these are goods that have a specific geographical origin for example assam tea of india this assam tea has a geographical origin which is assam and the tea produced from assam have geo, geo, gi tag okay that is what is 
geographical indication tau okay so a particular area like assam producing tea will be having a gi tag that is having a kind of qualities and a reputation or characteristics okay that is essentially attributable to that place of origin okay we are drinking assam tea and we know the qualities and characteristics of assam tea and it is strictly special special specific to that geographical origin which is assam okay so there are so many products across india like assam tea and all these products are so special because that have a geographical origin okay so such items will be registered under geographical indications okay so this is what is gi or geographical indications the next one is trade secrets these are confidential information which may be sold or licensed okay so for example we can say that there are so many food products in the markets some food products will be having recipes so these recipes of the food products are very confidential because if they are making this information out other company will be copying copies and will produce it okay they can either sell sell or license this trade secret to other companies for money that is not a problem but otherwise they will keep it as a secret for the production okay so and also some kind of chemical formulas also come under this trade secret for the production so this is what is the trade secret and if you are looking into the whole use of the intellectual property right we can say that this will strike a balance between the interest of invest innovators and the public interest you know when a intellectual property right is given for a particular person or company that is exclusive for them so if i have an ipr for a particular product i am the only one person who can produce that product so i will be able to make money out of that okay so this will be motivating the innovators because that is giving a pro- me a profit right and also when a public interest is there for a particular products like during the corona time period there was a need or demand for the vaccines so there will be a lot of researches going on and the companies will be ready to invest in that vaccine research because they know that if a vaccine is developed during this corona period that will be sold out for a for a long period of time and also there will be a good market for that vaccine okay so with that selling they will be able to make profit so this is the motivation of that innovators and they will invest more in that innovations okay so as iprs are given for a particular person they will invest more for the research and they will make the product and that will be used by the public okay so the interest of the public or the demand of the public are met as they will be using this product and the interest of the inverters investors or the researchers or the producers are also met as they will be getting profit out of this okay so this will strike a balance between the interest of the innovators as well as the public interest okay in turn we can say that this will promote innovation as well as the creativity and also making a balance okay so this is the use of intellectual property right if this is not there any person who is uh making any kind of innovations are common to the public and there is no profit is given for that particular researcher or innovator then there will not be any motive for that particular innovator to research or to invest more in that in some other kind of products okay so this will be pro- providing a lot of motivation for the researchers as well as the innovators so this is the use of this intellectual property rights <coughs> then we have two conventions related to ipr you have to just have an idea that they have two conventions related to ipr and just have an look at it one is paris convention for the protection of industrial property 1883 then the bonn 
Convention for the Protection of Literary and Artistic Works, 1886. So, just know that there are two conventions related to <coughs> IPR. Then, next is the WIPO or World Intellectual Property Organization. This is the organization who is giving protection for the intellectual property right. Okay. And this organization also promote the intellectual property rights throughout the world. So this is a worldwide organization which is providing protection and also promoting the intellectual property rights throughout the world. Otherwise, if there is no checks and balances in the world in case of intellectual property right, again there will be no motivation for the innovators. So this is keeping the protection of the intellectual property rights. So these are the points regarding the intellectual property rights which is very important for the world. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.